Hello, all you wonderful people out there, and thank you for joining me today at My Media Museum. We've made it up to part 36 of our A to Z sorted 45 RPM vinyl records collection, and we're starting this episode off with Quiet Riots, Come On, Feel the Noise. And the B-side of that one was a song called Run for Cover. And I do remember having a picture sleeve of this, so if you go back to the channel and look for the three picture sleeve videos series that are up there, uh, you can see that. And moving on, we've got, whoop, wrong side, <laughs> we've got the Raiders doing Indian Reservation, the Lament of the Cherokee Reservation Indian. Cherokee people, Cherokee tribe. And the B side of that was a song called Terry's Tune, which I am not familiar with. But moving on here, we've got a really good one in my book. Rainbow doing Stone Cold, how could you treat me so bad? With the B side of being Rock Fever. And I'm sure you know that that was... Uh, Richie Blackmore's <laughs> Richie Blackmore's band after he left Deep Purple uh, was Rainbow, so that's where that come from. Next up, we've got the Ramsey Lewis Trio doing "Hang On, Sloopy, Sloopy, Hang On," and you can see that someone at some point tried to remove a price tag here. I really, really. Uh, avoid doing that unless it's really loose and sometimes the glue is crystallized and you can just pop them off um, I really won't dig at them like this I know hang on sloopies you know covered up and somebody wanted to correct that um, I wish it was possible to have done so but you can also see it's a cutout version it's got a hole in it so it was reported back to the distributors destroyed so probably some employee took this home or somebody dug it out of the dumpster out back but the uh, B-side of this is a song called Moving Easy, which I am not familiar with at all. But I think we all know Hang On Sloopy. I uh, used to like to sing it Hang On Snoopy, being a big Peanuts fan. <laughs> um, next up, we've got Randy Newman with a song that my wife absolutely hates because she is vertically challenged. And uh, it's a song called Short People. Got no reason to live. Kind of a mean spirit, a little song, but it's all, you know, in fun. I don't think Randy Newman's got anything against short people. But uh, 1977, this was a real big hit, and I remember hearing it many times on the radio. And uh, I think it's kind of comical because I'm not vertically challenged. <laughs> uh, B side of this is a song called Old Man on the Farm, which is not a song I'm familiar with at all. Uh, next up, we've got one from Rare Earth. Get ready, get ready, cause here I come my way. And I always love this, these Rare Earth labels. I know they look kind of uh, amateurish. Uh, uh, the artwork is hand drawn, clearly. But I like it. I always thought it was cool. Uh, B-side being a song called Magic Key. Uh, 1969, yeah, we're going back a few years here. But yeah, I really like that Rare Earth um, uh, logo there. And we've got another Rare Earth one here to show you. I just want to celebrate. 1971, so it's a couple years after that last one. And you can see we've got some stacker wear here on this one where those discs drop down and the bottom one is spinning and before it catches you get some scuffing and some buffing. Sometimes it gets really nasty on them, uh, but that's just a sign that this one was owned by uh, some kid that had a stacker and was stacking up their 45s and listening to them in the sequence that they wanted to hear them, whether it was in their own room by themselves or at a party with some friends, who knows. But I definitely did it as well when I was a kid. Uh, rat, round and round, picture sleeve. Yeah, how cool is that? Backside being the morning after. But uh, I loved Rat. I really, really, I'm more of a metal head than anything. I do like 60s psych, 70s rock, and 80s metal. That's predominantly what I'm into. And anything that sounds like it would have fallen into that time period. 
Uh, I also like it when you get these uh, 45 picture sleeves that give you the album's, you know, track listing. Shows you everything that was on the album. I think that's pretty cool. Either that or the lyrics. Back in the day, I would have preferred the lyrics. But uh, these days, I really like uh, seeing, you know, the, what was on the album. Um, as, you know, sparks your memories for other songs that you would have liked off of that uh, release. But, uh, yeah, uh, these days, if you want the lyrics, you can look them all up online. We live in a whole new world now than what we did in the 70s and 80s. And the Internet is uh, such a great resource for things like lyrics and stuff. So um, it's not such a big deal these days. But back in the day, yeah, it was really nice when they gave you lyrics, especially on albums. I wanted the lyrics on those album sleeves on the inside and was felt cheated or at least disappointed when they weren't there. Uh, but here we've got Rat doing Round and Round, and it brings to mind the um, commercial in recent years where they're talking to the couple, and they've got a rat problem, and they shoot, go up to the attic, and there's Rat playing. I think Round and Round is the song that they're playing in the commercial. But that commercial, I love that commercial. That one really cracked me up the first time I saw it. Uh, B-side is being the morning after. Uh, and it's a really good song, too. That Out of the Cellar was an awesome album. Actually, the first EP and the first two albums were both really great. A lot of awesome material on those releases. Next up, we've got uh, you know, some 80s pop song here. I mean, who doesn't know Ghostbusters? Who are you going to call? Uh, obviously, from the uh, film, the uh, soundtrack LP. But Ray Parker Jr., I don't know him from uh, anything else other than having done Ghostbusters. Um, but maybe somebody can comment in the comments section down below uh, if Ray Parker came from some other band. Like um, I was discussing uh, Philip Bailey in the last episode. And um, thanks to a viewer named Alan who pointed out that Philip Bailey was from Earth, Wind & Fire. I did not know that. Uh, I'd love to see more of that on the channel. I'd love to see much more comments, uh, people adding information that uh, I didn't know or possibly even got wrong. And uh, he corrected me, too, on something that we're going to address at the end of this video. Um, so we'll get to that in a little bit. But uh, the B-side of Ghostbusters is um, huh, interesting. Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters. So what's the difference here? I don't know. 407 and um, 346. So we've got some slightly different edit here. There's... Some way it doesn't note it as being a uh, album version so what's different from the two sides I, I honestly can't say but we have made it up um, dang it <laughs> we have made it up to the very first 45 album platter vinyl whatever you want to call it that I bought in my life 1974 Ray Stevens doing the streak Oh, yes, they call him the streak. Look at that, look at that. And this song was just funny as all can get out to me. Uh, Ray Stevens is a little more on the countryside, which is what I was raised up around. My, fa fa my parents were very big country and western fans, and my dad was Johnny Cash. My mom did go into Elvis, so she got a little bit of the rock in her, but uh, they were big country fans, and that's mostly what I got exposed to. And Ray Stevens is more of a com comedic novelty record um singer but he did do um country mo more more often than not um but this was a really really great song i remember actually um playing that for my grandfather um one of the few times that i remember him before he passed away and him laughing up a storm so even my grandfather back in 1974 thought that was rather hysterical and the B-side being a song called You Got the Music Inside. Now, I've got some other versions of this uh, in some of the mixed boxes that we've already filmed. Uh, different releases at different times with different B-sides even. Um, but now, uh, we probably better go ahead and talk about Pilot Magic. Now, uh, I got this wrong in the last episode, episode 35. I sang America's Magic. You can do magic. You can have anything. And, Alan, thank you very much. I do appreciate you correcting me on this. Um, these are unscripted um, commentaries where I'm showing off the 45s and just talking about general knowledge that I believe to know about them. And um, I remember when I slapped it down, uh, immediately the car song, you know, uh-oh, it's magic. 
when I'm with you came in my head, and I knew that one was wrong, but uh, switching channels didn't switch well in my brain, and I went to the wrong sign, song. But this is, um, oh, 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 it's magic, you know. And there you go, all right? I've, I've, I've corrected myself here. Um, and I hope you're enjoying this channel. Uh, I would like to have more input from, from viewers. Uh, if I get something wrong, I make a mistake that uh, I may not be aware of, feel free to point it out in the comments section down below. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, I do appreciate thumbs up. They uh, encourage me and, and make my day. Um, thumbs downs I could do without, but you know, if, if you hate it that bad and you really feel the need, then go right ahead, thumbs down away. Um, I appreciate all the subscribers that your channel has. You, you people are wonderful. Um, I hope you're enjoying my efforts here on the channel. At this point, any idea or any notions of making money off of it have, have flown out the window. It's, uh, it's basically just for my own entertainment and your entertainment and for fun, uh, documenting my collections. Uh, I need to get off the 45s and get back to doing some DVDs and maybe some more video games. I've got so much to show you um, coming up in the future. But I got stuck on the 45s because I was really enjoying it and really loving doing them. And once I got to the A to Z collection, I really want to finish this up before moving on to something else. And we've got a couple more boxes to go. So if you hang in there with me, you're going to see a lot of really cool stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoy the time you spend here on the channel with me. And please forgive my mistakes. I will do my best to correct them and, and note, note them as, as they come up. And uh, we'll try to avoid making any more. So, there you go. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. Got it right this time. <laughs> See you next time.